So welcome back to another video and today we're looking at the RDFX Pillar Drive V2. So the Pillar Drive is RDFX second iteration of the Pillar Drive, as in the Pillar Drive V2. Um, it's a mid-gain overdrive, um, really simple layout level gain and tone, but as you'll hear when we go into the plane examples, it's anything but simple controls. Now, don't pick me up wrong on that, they're really intuitive, so the more you turn up the tone, obviously the brighter the tone gets, um, but I don't feel like it cuts a load of low end, to my ears anyway. Now with the gain control and the level and the tone all working together, it's kind of the, the pillar drive sweet spot. So the gain when it's lower down, the overdrive sounds brighter. The higher the gain level is, it kind of knocks off high end. And you would think you'd be able to compensate it with the tone knob, but it kind of just shifts like the cut off to my ears anyway. Super cool sounding pedal as you'll, as you'll hear. Um, really well built, top mounted jacks. We all know and love them, fit and pedal boards. Managed to squeeze onto my big board. It actually has a brightness switch on the inside for the LED, which is super handy if you're like me and some pedals totally blind you, i.e. the earthquake or plumes. <laughs> That's why you will all see the little bit of tape on the pedal, which I think is a really nice feature in this. Standard boss type power uh, barrel, center negative nine volts, all the good stuff will fit into any board and it goes. Now, the pillar drive for me kind of shines in a couple of situations. It's the overdrive that stacks well, that low gain. It's also an overdrive that I feel like if you get the cascading gain sounds and maybe stacking two lower gain pedals together, this is where the pillar drive fits in. If you've got a smaller board that you want more sounds out of, pillar drive. If you have four or five overdrive pedals and you just feel like you're not getting what you want, the pillar drive is something completely different. Like, let's get it plugged in. Um, I've got my good old red telly with my Sunbear pickups. Uh, telly set, so normal telly pickup in the bridge and a mini humbucker on the neck, just a kind of versatile guitar, just to demonstrate some tones. Going in through my board, you'll see the you'll see the board in the video, so and you'll all know it from videos. Going into my Kemper, I've literally just got a little bit of reverb from the big sky in the stereo effects loop, just so it's not dry. So let's give it a listen. So here's my clean tone. I say clean, just a little bit dirty. We'll set all the knobs at noon. Pull our drive.
to a huge sound in overdrive pedal. Just honestly brilliant. I've, as you can see in the shelf behind me, if I was to take a picture, I've got a ton of overdrive pedals. I'm always trying to find that nuance that fits with my playing, and I feel like the pillar drive nails it on the head. I love stacking pedals. This saves me having to stack pedals if I don't want to. It's been on my small board, as you can see here, um, when I was in a session a couple of weeks ago, and it just gave me that different tone that I was looking for. It's not a tube screamer. It's not... A blues breaker it's just its own thing which i think is great and the just the, the way the controls interact is just so cool and so musical so i can't thank our defects enough for sending it out you'll definitely be seeing it more of it and more videos to come and if you've got any info any questions on it, all the information for the pedal will be linked down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one